Okay, so I know this video has been done a couple times already this year, but it's how to run in rough water. Now, I want to do a quick video for you guys because I'm out here on the Great Lakes. I spend a lot of time fishing the Great Lakes, and so I want to do a video showing you guys how to run this big water when it gets a little bit nasty because it's a little bit different than the inland lakes. It's a little bit different because the waves gap out a little bit more, and if you're not careful, it's very easy to spear waves. Let me just clarify, it's not rough for the Great Lakes. Like this is a typical day out here. So I'm gonna show you guys what the waves look like. They're about two and a half foot rollers, maybe three foot rollers. They're starting to white cap, and then I'm gonna show you guys, whoa, how to run this water. If you guys can see, I'm getting a little bit of water over the back deck. And they're starting to white cap out there. So it's getting a little bit rough. Water's starting to roll on me. So I want to start shooting this video for you guys, show you guys how to control the trim tabs, how to control your motor and your boat so that way you don't take waves over the front and get yourself wet, break equipment. Um, and I'm going to go over a couple safety procedures as well to keep you guys safe when the water gets rough. So the first thing is take that trolling motor strap, make sure your trolling motor is strapped down so that way the head's not bouncing around. So that way that's not going to bounce around and potentially break off on you. Also, make sure your rods are strapped down and make sure your graph, if you have it on a ram mount, is locked down in the front here. Also, a big thing you guys see me always wear is my PFD. This is an Onyx auto inflatable life jacket. I always wear it, not because I can't swim, I'm actually a decent swimmer, but because it makes me feel a lot safer that if I were ever to fall overboard, if I, anything were ever to happen to me, where I fell overboard, got knocked unconscious, I would have my life jacket on to keep me afloat. It also, these new Impulse life jackets feature a little ring tab here. That's to clip your kill switch to. When you're running any sort of water with the big motor on, make sure you have your kill switch attached to you. That's going to make it so if something happens where you get tossed out of the boat, you hit a wave or whatever, your motor will stop immediately. Your boat won't keep driving in circles. Um, your, your motor will stop. Your boat will shut off. Um, so that's really, really key. Also, make sure your bilge works before you go out on the big water make sure that your bilge works in case you take water in the boat that's really key you don't want to have water coming in the boat and have no way to get it out with that said i want to get in the driver's seat and show you guys what it takes to run some of this big water and what you need to do to be safe out here so what i'm doing is i'm running two cameras i have one on my chest and one right up here for you guys so you guys get two different perspectives of what i'm going to be doing here first things first take your kill switch hook this kill switch to yourself or to your life jacket. Like I mentioned, I have the Onyx A24 Impulse Life Jacket, auto inflatable. That gives me that peace of mind that if something were to happen that I fell overboard, I'm at least gonna stay afloat. This life jacket's gonna inflate, I'm gonna stay up in the water, so that way I don't, well, hopefully, I don't drown. Then, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my bilge on. This is gonna keep my boat as dry as possible. That way, if I start taking on water, if I start taking on waves, it's gonna be able to pump that out as I'm running without me having to really think about it. Now, when you go to take off, trim your motor all the way down, raise your jack plate all the way up, and kind of turn. You wanna turn into the wave. So you wanna basically, if the wave's coming straight at you, turn to the side, and it's gonna get you on pad faster. You wanna be on pad because it's a lot easier to control your boat and basically make sure that your nose doesn't tip down into the next wave. I'm starting to take water over the front. We gotta get going. So. I'm trimmed all the way down, jack plate, hydraulic jack plates all the way up. This is going to get me on pad quick. Here we go. So I'm going to turn like that to get myself on pad. Now I'm going to lower my hydraulic jack plate. You want to lower that jack plate, it's going to bring the motor further underneath your boat, give you more control. At the same time, I'm going to trim my boat up. I want to trim my motor up to make sure that I stay on top of the waves if I can. What you want to do is run at a comfortable speed and basically 45 the waves. When the waves start to gap out, you can run the troughs, but when they're still tight together, just 45. So now you're pretty much set. Um, I keep it at a decent cruising speed. I'm at about 25 miles an hour right now, but when you get in those troughs, you really have the ability to run them pretty quickly, I mean, honestly. So here we go. You kind of want to steer the boat. You want to make sure you're staying in that trough.
yourself down on the next wave. One of the problems when you start running with the wind is when you come up a wave, it's going to want to push that next wave away from you. And it's going to want to tip the nose of your boat down into the wave. That's the last thing you want because that's how you break stuff and you spear waves. If you have to run with the wind, if you have to run directly into the wind, you're going to want to slow down and kind of try to time it. And just like that, you control the boat. So I came up a wave and knew that it was going to fall off, so I turned my hands so we came down sideways on the trough instead of nose first into that wave. And it sounds stupid, but sometimes, sometimes the faster you go, the easier it is to control that. Also, when you're starting to go with the wind, trim down a little bit more to help bring your nose back up a little bit. Um, I obviously want to be able to see what's going on, but uh, by having the nose trimmed up, it's going to keep, keep you from spearing away a little bit better. So there you guys got a little bit of a taste of what it's like to run in this big water. Um, Hopefully you guys learned a little bit about kind of what I'm looking for to be able to run these waves safely. So there it is guys, that was my tutorial on how to run big water. We are obviously off the lake now, but I hope you guys were able to learn something from this video. Like I mentioned, while I was doing the opening for this video, that wasn't rough for the Great Lakes. That was about two and a half or three foot rollers. So it was big, but it wasn't incredibly rough. We're used to like four and a half, five footers, six footers that are considered really, really, really rough water. But that gives you guys a good idea of what I mean when I say that the Great Lakes get rough, that Lake Huron gets rough. Um, and it gives you a, a little bit of perspective on how I approach running that big water and what I do to make sure that I'm safe when I'm out there fishing and basically trying to run from spot to spot. So I apologize I didn't get any forward facing footage. I tried to spin that front camera around for you, but my glove ended up catching the on off button, which you can see right here. And unfortunately I wasn't able to get that footage for you guys. So if you guys like this footage, I'll try to do another one of these. I'll try to get a little bit more footage, um, try to explain a little bit more in depth what I'm looking for, how I'm reading these waves to know when to cut the wheel so that way I end up in the trough and don't end up spearing a wave. Just basically all the really, really intricate points that help keep me safe out there on the big water. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And as always guys, thank you for watching. Take care, tight lines, God bless. Pursue your passion.